Hey, what's up, chillins, villains, streetwear enthusiasts? We're gonna look at some Air Jordan 1 Biohacks and Uniform Studios merch today. Wake up, kill it, wake up, kill it, wake up, kill it, wake up. Alright, we'll check out these biohacks in a second. I got an alert on my phone that I was able to get into this reserved section of the sneakers app, which was super cool. Biohacks was one of the shoes that was there. There's a bunch of other ones, a bunch of really cool ones, some off-white and whatnot, but I didn't think I had a very good chance. And I only wanted to go after one just to help my odds. I don't know how that works with the sneakers app. Maybe I should have just gone for all of them. Anyways, went for the biohacks, those Jordan ones, and I went ahead and was able to grab them. But first, we are looking at the Uniform Studios uh, cargo pants. I able to grab. I also grabbed this dad cap, this Uniform Studios upside down LA cap. I thought it was really cool and it'll go well with my dunks that I have. You guys will see those in the next video. Make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, and you can be informed about the uh, next dunks I show you that are going to go with this. And I've got some Warren Lottis apparel. Maybe you guys aren't into Warren Lottis. Maybe you hate him. I got some of his stuff we're going to check out as well. So this hat, really cool, really nice embroidery on here. Got Los Angeles on the side. Upside down LA on the front, Uniform Studios on the other side, and then just nice strap there on the back. On the inside, you got your information. It's an Odo hat. And yeah, yeah, that's about it. No sort of tagging or anything for Uniform Studios. I'm not sure, but last time I checked, I think this hat was still available on their website. We'll just check it out, see what you think. If you like this cap, yeah, it doesn't really go with my fit today, but I mean, whoops. Not that I'm really wearing anything too spectacular or colorful or anything like that. These are just some Paradise or Club Paradise cargo pants. And then, yeah, I'm just wearing this Essentials tee because Uniform Studios gives me those Jerry Lorenzo, Fear of God, Essentials Collection vibes. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead. Looks like they gave me some socks. Just says Uniform Studio on there. Yeah, Uniform Studios. There's their, uh, their logo there. Got a receipt in here as well. And then the cargo pants. I'm pretty excited for these. It's kind of rare to get the Uniform Studio pants because they sell out so quick, super fast. Um, but since I joined Soul Savvy, they were able to get me some early access a few minutes early. These also released in some different green colorways, olive and whatnot. They're not actually that much of cargo pants. Like, or I guess they are because they got what? These pockets on the side, but then they also have these straps going around the pocket that I thought was pretty cool and everybody was really liking online. Not like anything crazy for quality. These did run at about a hundred bucks. Honestly, it's just standard weight fabric, nothing heavy or thick. It all feels pretty thin. Here's the tags that we're looking at on these. Right inside the zipper, you've got this tag here, Uniform Studios, size 30. And then on the back of it, you got your tag on the inside there of the pants. I'll go ahead and uh, I'll try these on. And there we go. I feel like the Yeezy 500s go pretty well with these uh, Uniform Studio pants. Yeah, they just fall really nice. I really like that. They just kind of bunch up down there. Not too loose, not too tight. Yeah, just perfect. And then these pockets, man, these pockets are insane. These side pockets, these are the ones you're gonna wanna be using though, because these front pockets, they're like crazy shallow. I can't even put my phone all the way in my pocket. It's like a girl pocket or whatever. Just gotta deal with that. Back pockets, just normal, plain back pockets. Uh, but yeah, a little bit of a different color of black than this Essentials tee or long sleeve tee. But hey, I mean, when you wash your clothes a few times, they get a little bit lighter. Blacks aren't quite as black, or maybe, you know, they just use different shades to begin with. That could definitely be uh, a thing there. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about these Uniform Studio pants. I definitely dig them. Now we're gonna get into some bio hacks. If I can get this box to open up. These boxes are pretty cool that Nike uses. They don't use them all the time. It's 100% offsetting carbon emissions. It's a pretty flimsy box. They're not very great. And I've sent other people things in them because they have this seal. You can reseal it. And yeah, I've used it to like trade stuff around with people. I don't know if they're holding up very well because it barely even gets to me, but you know, it is what it is. Here is the Nike Jordan 1 box. Got your black and red all over. Got your red line, 1985 Air Jordan 1. Here's the label on the front. You guys want to see that, right? There it is. And we'll go ahead and open these up. Look at that. So bright, 
so intensely bright. This minty, minty mint of this sole here is just so intense. And the leather on here actually feels really nice. Curves nicely around the toe really, really well. I'm just gonna look at some of my other Jordan ones. I guess, yeah, I guess they all kind of go nicely around the toe, but this one, I don't know, it just feels like it's coming up even a little bit more up on this toe. These Jordan Biohacks are really cool just because of where they come from. The idea or design of this shoe first came from Undefeated on a Nike Dunk, and now basically eight or nine years later, we're seeing it on a Jordan 1 High. It's a little bit different, you know, the colors from from the original Jordan 1, or from the original Dunk. Jordan 1s do fit true to size. You're not gonna want to size down at all. If anything size up, because if you size down on a Jordan 1, you're gonna be cramming your foot inside that thing. And maybe you can deal with it. Maybe that's, maybe that's okay. But yeah, this one is really dope. The sneaker suede and leather construction features black and brown hues across the medial and heel section, while two shades of blue dominate the toe area. Rounding out its vibrant makeup are pink for the inner lining, orange tongues, and that mint green sole. Oh man, so bright. It really pops. These all really pop at you. And it, it doesn't actually look that terrible. I know in some pictures people are thinking they can't fit this with anything, but um, I think some people are gonna have some good fits for these. And I might actually break these out. You guys know I have a uh, Pretty big collection, so I don't always uh, undes things right when I get them on film for you guys. But sorry about that. I mean, if I was balling or something, I could just trade around everything used. But as it goes, I'm trading around some DS items because uh, you get a lot more for your trade when items are dead stop. But anyways, I am going to uh, show a little, what is this, a meme, I guess, a comment. It's from the Naked Pastor. We have a before picture. Oh Lord, please make me more like Jesus. And then the after picture, the dude saying, well, crap, because he's on a cross crucified. <laughs> I mean, to be like Jesus, to accept everybody, to try and stand up for the marginalized people. It is a hard path to take. You're gonna come up with a lot of people confronting you saying, no, those people can't change. They don't wanna be helped. There's no saving them. All these things that people could say, we've tried a million times, you know? It just seems like they go in a cycle. They're gonna fall away again. Yeah, when are they gonna fall off the handle? Oh, they're probably, who knows? All these things are so anti what Jesus was. Jesus was so accepting. A hundred times you could come to him with the same issue you know you've messed up and, and did the same wrong thing again that gets your conscience all worked up in a bunch you're like oh I shouldn't have done that again oh I shouldn't have yelled at my supervisor or told him to go eat shit or something I mean I I, I mean at work it gets pretty hectic it can be a little crazy working the for the Postal Service, that's where I work, is basically like the military, but it's not really, I mean, it's it's different, but yeah, uh, afterwards, you know, I just have to apologize to people, but then they understand, like, okay, if, if they make me upset or if there's some confrontation afterwards, it's not gonna be awkward. I'm gonna go out of my way to make it right for them. Because honestly, I can't live with that on me because I'm out here preaching and telling people, let's accept everybody, let's be more loving. And then, you know, if I'm not doing it myself, it makes, yeah, it's not, not very good. So <laughs> anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed the stash while I've had it. I hope my mustache has made you very happy because it's about to leave. This is the last video with the mustache. So say goodbye and it won't see you in the next one. Peace.